If you see me sitting here with my dead chihuahua spirit, then you know it's ghost story time. So let's talk about haunted Indian rock road. It's a road you wouldn't think very much about. You drive past an airport, small municipal airport, and then down a road with some rather expensive houses to find yourself at a dead end. And you're there. Nowhere, it seems. Field in front of you, dead end in one way, dead end the other way. But where are you? You feel like you're in hell. Seriously. The energy is oppressive. You feel like something evil's looking at you. You, you just want to scream. You go 10 feet back, 15 feet back, and you're like, Hey, what a beautiful place. Then you walk forward, and it's cold, and something is staring at you. <sighs> you just want to... <sighs> then you walk back, and you're like, la, la, la. What's going on there? What is there? Well, they say that a long time ago, sometime in the 1600s, it was the site of one of the first, most deadliest battles between the Native Americans and the settlers of Dunstable. By the way, before you rush down there with your EMF meters and your digital cameras, you should know that the legend warns if you're a direct descendant of anyone who died there in the battle. You will yourself be cursed if you step on the land and will die within one year of your visit. Is it true? Maybe. Well, I'm still alive, so I guess I'm not a descendant. If you want to find out who was at that first battle, just in case, there is a marker at the Meeting House Cemetery in Nashua off of Exit 1 but it only tells you a few names of the first people who were killed on the colonist side. You'll never know the names of the many people who were killed on the native side. So be careful, because it seems that they're still there, haunting and waiting for you. Oh. And don't forget bug spray. The place is full of mosquitoes. <laughs>